bless you, everybody. It is an honor and a privilege to be with you once again for our noonday prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you all so much for coming and joining with us. Amen. Praying with us, calling on the name of the Lord together as a people. Hallelujah. Thank you all so much. Amen. It is an honor and a privilege. I don't take it lightly. Amen. That God's people are calling in and joining with us in prayer, talking to the Lord. Amen. About what's going on in the lives of his people. Hallelujah. And we want to keep everybody's prayer requests, everything everybody put up. We want to keep that before the Lord. Hallelujah. We want to keep on calling on the name of the Lord. The Bible emphatically declares that whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hallelujah. That's a good, that's a good subject. The name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved and we should call his name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we just thank God for all of you being with us today. We certainly want to keep, amen, uh, uh, Sister uh, Washington, amen, keep her before the Lord, amen. She's going through our great trial and tribulations, and many of us are a great need, amen, Sister Priscilla. And we want to keep her before the Lord in her situation. All that can help her, please do, amen. If you can't pray, Please pray and call on his name. Hallelujah. In her behalf. Amen. If you know about any agencies and, and anyone that can help. Amen. Be, feel free. Amen. This is an open group. Amen. Hallelujah. It is an open group for people to talk to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And for us to call on the Lord together as believers. Amen. I take very seriously. I take ministry extremely seriously, amen, serious, and I um, would love, amen, hallelujah. I love it when God hears and answers prayers and many of the requests that people have made, amen. Even during the broadcast, God has answered the prayers, amen. So I take this very, very serious, amen. I take the, the pages serious and our, our, our church pages serious, Amen. And I just wanted to be for the kingdom. Amen. If that's okay with everybody. Hallelujah. Prayers and prayer requests. Amen. Hallelujah. And amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise reports. And so it's not like a chat room where we can just put up anything we want to put up. Amen. This is just a direct line to the kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. To God, the kingdom. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So this is not for amen in the name of jesus hallelujah this is not for personal use amen and y'all do me a favor if you see something inappropriate you just remove it amen in the name of jesus hallelujah just remove it in the name of jesus hallelujah amen hallelujah and so uh and and we want god amen to have the preeminence amen in our hallelujah uh on our on our page amen in the name of jesus hallelujah thank you lord and so we want god to be first let god be truth and every man a liar hallelujah let god be truth and every man a liar hallelujah in the name of jesus so let's do this hallelujah hallelujah let's do this amen we're gonna let god be truth Hallelujah. Amen. And let every man be a liar. Hallelujah. So we want to pray for those who ask for prayer. We want to keep our direct line of communication. Amen. To the Lord. And we want to call on the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you all for being with us today. Hallelujah. Today we're going to be talking about baggage. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Talking about baggage. Amen. And we, amen, don't want, amen, hallelujah, amen, to be, amen, um, holding on to things that we should have left alone a long time ago. We don't want to be holding on to things, 
that, amen, we should have gave to God years ago, laid it at his feet, amen, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We don't want to be holding on to anything extra, hallelujah, amen. We want to lay aside the weights and the sin that so easily beset us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, and so uh, we as believers, please don't, amen, call someone say, well, hey, they talking about you today, sister, amen, hallelujah, no, 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 I'm not picking on anybody, I'm just trying to help everybody, amen, get rid of some things, amen, do a, not a spring cleaning, but a fall cleaning, amen, clean out the, amen, extra loads and heavy weights and burdens that we carry, amen, hallelujah, old song says, oh, what peace we often forfeit, Oh, what needless pain we bear only because we do not carry, just because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Hallelujah. So we carry too much. Amen. And then it becomes cumbersome. Amen. It, it becomes a hindrance in our lives. Amen. Baggage by definition means personal belongings packed in suitcases. Amen. For traveling or luggage, amen, in the emotional sense, is talking about past experience or long-held ideas regarded as burdens or impediments, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, it keeps me from going forward, hallelujah, forget, uh, get me once, shame on you, get me twice, shame on me, hallelujah, if I allow you to do that to me a second time. And um, I also always believe in learning the lesson. Hallelujah. Always learn the lesson, but don't carry the baggage of it. Amen. Hallelujah. With you. Amen. Because then you drag in old relationships, old hurt, old pain, a lot of different things that we had that experienced in our life. We're carrying those things around with us everywhere we go. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We have an old kitchen adage. If you don't use it, you don't need it. Amen. So if we order stuff and put stuff uh, and, and we're not using it in the kitchen, we throw it away because it's not it's not fit for our daily use. We have to run lean. Hallelujah. You don't, you don't want clutter. Amen. In our lives, we want to declutter in our lives. And so we need to have Amen. We need to run light. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We have to run fast. We have to be run quick and run. Amen. Run. We got a race to run. We got to run by faith. And at the finishing line, hallelujah, I'll see God's face. Hallelujah. And so we need to lay aside every way to end the sin that so easy to set us that we may run with patience. The race that is set before us. So Paul over here in the book of first Corinthians, amen, the 10th chapter, nine through 13 verses amen uh, at the beginning of the verse he was amen letting them know this is not by amen uh, man's hand this is not by even the children of israel that was coming out amen was coming out by the power of god who is christ you know, christ was with us amen even in the old testament but his name wasn't christ amen he's still god jehovah amen jehovah and 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 jesus and yashua amen comes from the same hebrew root word amen hallelujah which means salvation basically means salvation Amen. Hallelujah. And so uh, Christ was there from the beginning. He said, before there was a wind in the web, before Moses, I am. Hallelujah. So he was there from the beginning. And so he, he was letting the church at Corinth know, don't let, amen, hallelujah, our walk in this world be, amen, hallelujah, according to the course of this world, or according to our own will, according to the flesh, but let it do it. Amen. Let's do it for the cause of Christ. Amen. And so around about the ninth verse, he says, neither let us tempt Christ as some of them also tempted and were destroyed of serpents. Talking about the children of Israel coming out of bondage, leaving that baggage of sin, leaving that baggage of their past life, leaving that those things behind them and pressing forward. Amen. Pressing toward the mark of a high calling in Christ Jesus. But they was moving toward the promised land. Our promised land is total, complete trust in God. Our promised land is to be spiritually controlled. 
our promised land is not necessarily heaven. Amen. Because that's promised to all of us. Amen. Who believe. Yes, absolutely. Hallelujah. But we have some promise here on earth. Amen. As we uh, before we leave here. Amen. Hallelujah. We are promised a heavenly home. And I understand that. Amen. The, the Jews were given earthly greatness and amen and authority by God. Amen. We are promised a heavenly home. I understand that completely. But that doesn't mean that everything, amen, is going to be terrible here while we here. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody said I would have fainted except I believe. I believe it was David. I would have fainted except I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. So while we're still here, while the blood is running warm in our vein, amen, God said I would that you prosper and be in good health even as your soul prosper. You don't need health in heaven. Hallelujah. We're going to be in our glorified bodies then. We won't need, amen, tissues and aspirin, amen, medication. Hallelujah. But while we're here, Let's not tempt Christ, amen, as we tempted God, as the children of Israel tempting God in the wilderness and were destroyed of serpents. Neither murmur, amen, hallelujah, not, not lament, not to cry out to God because of the situation, not to pray and ask God for deliverance and healing and what you need in your life. That's not murmuring, amen. To murmur, amen, is to speak to God as if you have a you have a say and you have control over God, amen, to tell him what to do. Amen. Hallelujah. To be amen. Hallelujah. To be uh, a negative. Amen. Hallelujah. Towards God in the situation that you're going through. Amen. Charging God foolishly. Hallelujah. Murmuring and complaining to God hallelujah, as if he's not God. Amen. Hallelujah. We cry out to him in faith. There's nothing wrong with lamenting and crying out and saying, Lord, I'm going through this. Please help me in this. Hallelujah. No murmuring is God. Why are you not doing this? God, is, why are you not doing it? No, we don't murmur and complain. Amen. We cry out to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And ask for help. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We ask the Lord, ask and it shall be given. Seeking you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Hallelujah. Amen. We have not because we ask not. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we have to cry out to God. Amen. And, and ask him for the de delif deliverance. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And so and it's under your breath. Amen. You're saying it. You're saying it quietly. You mumble. You saying it because you kind of don't want him to hear you. Amen. But you want to get it. You can't. You, you want to get it off of you. Amen. Because it's bothering you. It's pestering you. Amen. How do you say it under you? What did you say? Hallelujah. <laughs> huh? If you can hide, you can hear. What did you say? How did I say nothing? Hallelujah. Who you talking to? Nobody. Hallelujah. So I'm nobody, huh? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, I didn't say you were nobody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So who was you talking to? Hallelujah. I don't know. Y'all had those conversations. You said something underneath your breath and they heard you say it. Hallelujah. Some of them heard what you said. Amen. Some didn't, but they want to they want to check you on it. Amen. What did you say? Hallelujah. Um, um, nothing. <laughs> yes, you did. You said something. Why did I ask you that? Hallelujah. Why did I ask you the question if I didn't hear you say something? I heard you say something. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We trying our best. We trying to get out. We trying to moonwalk like Michael Jackson. We trying to get out of that thing. Lord, please get me out of this. I don't know. You got it in it. Hallelujah. Amen. You saying stuff. Amen. It's going to cause you. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Condemnation. Amen. It's going to cause you some pain. And so we got to be careful even with our Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. How we talk to God. Like I always say, you might get a divine answer from him. Hallelujah. Amen. He will hear your faintest cry. He will answer by and by. We know we sing the song. Hallelujah. Amen. He hears us. Amen. He hears what we say. And matter of fact, more than that, that's why he's the righteous judge, because he knows the intent of our heart. He knows where we are. And so that's why he gives us free course to to cry out to him. Amen. And say, Lord, this and I'm sick and tired of going through this. I'm absolutely nothing wrong with that. Amen. Hallelujah. If it, if it calls for tears, amen. Cry. Amen. Hallelujah. For my God shall wipe away all your tears. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And so he said, don't murmur, though. Amen. Hallelujah. As they murmured. Hallelujah. And destroyed uh, of the destroyer. Now, all these things happen unto them for examples for us so we can see. 
Amen. What not to do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What's wrong with Israel? They in sin again. They, they were worshiping idols again. What's wrong with us? We have Israel's story. We have the whole Bible. We got the whole book. He said, don't write anything else. Seal the book. Hallelujah. Don't add. Don't take away. We're going to be cursed with the curse written in this book. Hallelujah. We have the whole Bible. We know what happened to Israel. Hallelujah. We know what happened to the first century church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Acts of the Apostles and what happened at Corinth and what happened at Galatia. Hallelujah. We saw what happened at, at Coloss. Amen. Hallelujah. We see the stories. Amen. And yet we, amen, still fall into, amen, divers temptations. Amen. We still fall into, amen, hallelujah, and, and under sin. And yet we have everything. And we have what we have what Israel didn't have. Amen. The script. We have the letter. Hallelujah. And yet we still fail God. Hallelujah. So we are without excuse. We are without excuse. Amen. But, but he given us, amen, uh, repentance. He's given us, amen, the opportunity to cry out to God. Amen. Hallelujah. And to share. Amen. He's asking it shall be given. Seeking you shall find. Knocking the door shall be opened unto you. So we don't need to be carrying all these things. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We, we pick up one thing. We pick on another thing. We, we carry our brothers and our sisters burdens. Amen. We, we're supposed to care for them. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and pray about them. But you don't have to carry. Amen. Hallelujah. Help one another. In other words, bear one another's burdens means help each other. Amen. If it's too much for them, go help them. Amen. Hallelujah. But 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 as far as the things that are hurting them, we pray for them. Amen. Hallelujah. We pray for God's deliverance and his healing power and his authority. Amen. We condescend them in a lower state. We go pick them up yeah, and help them. Amen. In their life. You got two cups of sugar. They need a cup of sugar. Amen. Hallelujah. Give them a cup of flour, whatever it may be. Amen. Everybody's getting healthy now. So I, I should have used um, grapes or something. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Well, whatever it may be that you see your brother in need of and you have. That's what the word responsibility means. Amen. You have the ability to respond. So, amen, if somebody put in a prayer, prayer request or they post a request that they need the saints to pray for, I don't have a problem with that at all. Amen. Hallelujah. Because if you have the ability, you have the responsibility. Amen. Hallelujah. To help wherever you can. Amen. Take care of your home. Take care of your family. Do what you need to do for you and yours. Amen. Absolutely. Because the Bible declares that charity begins at home. Amen. And if there's none left over to do anything with, amen, you need to save up for the next month. I don't have a problem with that. Hallelujah. Amen. That you should save. Amen. And put some aside. Amen. For down the road. Amen. Hallelujah. Retirement and all those things, college and all that that you're working on. Amen. For your family. But if you have the ability to respond, amen, we should all respond. Amen. With that ability that God has given all of us to respond. Amen. Hallelujah. We have a responsibility. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All these things happen for an example for us. Amen. And they are written for our admonition. Hallelujah. Upon whom the ends of the world are come. Wherefore, uh, let him that thinketh he standeth. Hallelujah. Take heed lest he fall. Amen. Whoever thinks they doing this of themselves. Amen. You, you're a fool because a fool have said in their heart, there is no God. Hallelujah. When you act as if it's you that do this, that do this. Hallelujah. Not understanding that it is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. We enter his gates with thanksgiving. We enter his courts with praise. Hallelujah. It's he that has made us. Hallelujah. When you think you standing on your own. Hallelujah. You're going to fall. You, you fail already. Amen. Hallelujah. Because God is our keeper. He's a shade upon our right hand. The sun shall not smite us by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord is your keeper. Hallelujah. There hath no, our main scripture, our key verse here is the 13th verse, 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. It says, there hath no temptation taken you, but such is common to everybody. Mankind, amen, common to man, but it's mankind. Everybody has problems. Everywhere you go, there's trouble. Everywhere you go, there's strife. One of them Hawkins sung that song. Everywhere you go, there's someone, hallelujah, amen, that's trying to discourage you. But my God is standing by, hallelujah, amen. He give power to the faint and them that have no might, he increase strength. But God is faithful. 
Hallelujah. Great is. That's my favorite song, y'all. If y'all want to know, that's it right there. Great is thy faithfulness. But God is faithful. Hallelujah. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. He won't put too much on you. Amen. That you're not able to bear. That's why sometimes even at funerals, people have multiple family members die. Amen. Pass away in a certain segment of time. And I tell a family, I say, y'all got to be strong because God won't put no more on you to get, you, you can bear. Amen. That means you're a strong person that you can deal with all this at one time. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But with that temptation, with the temptation also, amen, make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just tell Jesus, tell him all oh, trials great. Hallelujah. Trials small. He, hallelujah, will share them. Freely bear them. Just tell Jesus. Tell them all. Don't be afraid to talk, to have a little talk with Jesus, to tell him all about your troubles. But baby, when you give it over to the Lord, amen, leave that thing. Let it go. Let it go and let God have his way. Amen. Don't carry all those burdens. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I must tell Jesus. Ah, tell him all. Hallelujah. I must tell. I cannot bear these burdens alone and he never made for you to bear them alone uh, some things amen that it didn't come from amen hallelujah the enemy some things we put upon ourselves we run up that credit card the devil amen it wasn't the devil's fault hallelujah amen we told this person yeah i'll do that for you i've i've, I've been amen guilty of this for myself i tell everybody that i do all these things and find out uh, realize I, i'm running myself raggedy hallelujah sometimes i gotta say no amen hallelujah and so when people ask me say pastor you know this one asked me to do this and somebody asked me to do that and somebody asked me to do this and somebody asked me to do that and I, I just can't do all of it I said well they gave you a word in a dictionary that'll help you amen hallelujah with that and the word is no hallelujah amen you do what you can amen you help as many people as you can yeah, amen you help your brothers and your sisters and your neighbors amen hallelujah but don't run yourself raggedy amen you put burdens you put we put burdens on ourselves amen and 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 and, and then we can't take it but God in his soul, in his grace and his love and compassion toward us. Amen. Hallelujah. He still relieves us of that burden. We can still cast, which means fling. Amen. Cast all our cares on him. Jesus, this is yours. I can't take this. I, I can't take it. Man. It's too much. Hallelujah. It's too much. It is too much for us. Hallelujah. But it's not too much for him. Hallelujah. Is there anything too hard for God? And so that's what that's what prayer is for. That's for us coming together with prayer. Amen. As a as a body of believers, as the church itself. Hallelujah. We should come together and pray and talk to God about what's going on in our lives and the lives of others. And amen. Hallelujah. People losing their homes or being threatened to lose their homes. Hallelujah. We pray about that. Those that can help. God bless you. If you can't, let's get together. How oh, God, thank you. Hallelujah. Let's talk to the Lord about this. Hallelujah. Child is missing. Hallelujah. I don't know where the child is. Hallelujah. But but come together and let's pray about this thing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody's sick. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Don't know what the doctor's shaking their head and say, no, we don't have no cure for this, but you don't have to. Hallelujah. The manufacturer. Hallelujah. Amen. You study the body. He made the body. He know the number of hairs on the head hallelujah thank you jesus you might not know but my god knows hallelujah he's omniscient he has all knowledge and more than that he's omnipotent he has all power there's nothing greater you can't put christ how to, above the name of god you can't put cancer above the name of god you can't put aids hallelujah high blood pressure kidney failure hallelujah heart attack hallelujah thank you G. unemployment hallelujah thank you depression hallelujah Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You can't put nothing. Hallelujah. God has given him a name that's above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That he is Lord to the glory of God. So I gave up my old filthy garment and he gave me a robe of pure white. Now I'm feasting on manna from heaven. That is why I'm happy tonight. Child, with all that stuff going on, I heard about this and I heard about that and you should be somewhere crying i should be yes you're right about that but he's taken away hallelujah that baggage he's taken away that burden hallelujah i was sinking deep in sin far from the peaceful shore fairly staying within sinking to rise no more but the master of the sea heard my despair
despairing cry. And from the waters, he lifted me. You don't need that on you. Hallelujah. You don't need that right there. That's too much right there. Hallelujah. He took it off of me. Hallelujah. He freed me. Hallelujah. He lifted me up so out of a horrible pit. Placed my feet upon a rock. Established my goings. Put a song in my lips. A praise unto my God. Yes, where I should be somewhere crawled up in a fetal position. Hallelujah. Wondering what tomorrow's going to bring. I'm giving God praise. I'm lifting my hands in the sanctuary. I'm lifting my hands to give him glory. I lift my hands. Hallelujah. To give him the praise. And I'll praise him. Hallelujah. For the rest of my days. Who shall separate me from the love of God. I don't care what comes. I'm hold to God's hands. God's unchanging hand. I'm building my hope on things eternal. I'm holding to God. I'm not holding to the light bill. I'm not holding to the rent bill. Hallelujah. I'm not holding to that crazy child. Hallelujah. I'm not holding. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. To these things. Do these things. Hallelujah. I'm going to leave in the hands of God. I'm going to put it all at the altar. Is your all at the altar a sacrifice laid? Hallelujah. Are you under spiritual control? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will help you. God will deliver you. He will make a way out of no way. But you got to let him in. Won't you let him in? Hallelujah. Let him in today. Cast your burdens on him. Give him all that baggage. They didn't treat you right. They didn't do right. They said all manner evil against you. Hallelujah. Amen. You're not the only one. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> no temptation, amen, have taken come upon you. So just common to everybody. We've all gone through. And let's go through together. Let's lock arms. Amen. Hot, and lift up one another. Encourage one another. I like I love the way I see you guys when somebody put post something on there. Amen. Y'all encourage them. Amen. How to and give them a word. Y'all a, a prophetic word. How to God's going to heal. God's going to deliver. That's what we as believers do. We supposed to do that. Hallelujah. We are believers. Hallelujah. Amen. Give them a prophetic word. Word. Say it. Speak it. Call those things that be not as though they were. Hallelujah. Speak that rent paid before Thursday. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Every need met before Thursday. That's what believers do. We are believers. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I gave up my old filthy. I gave him my baggage. He took it. Hallelujah. He gave me joy in place of sorrow. Hallelujah. Counted all joy. Hallelujah. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to reap in joy. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We're going to reap in joy, saints. Don't let the devil fool you. Hallelujah. Don't let the devil put you down. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You're going to be all right. You're going to make it. You just got to get rid of that baggage. Hallelujah. Amen. Go to baggage claim. Amen. Hallelujah. You lose your luggage, you go to baggage claim. Some of that luggage you need to lose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You've been trying and sick and tired of making you weary, making you worse. Amen. Making you angry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Making you depressed, holding on to that baggage. Hallelujah. That old baggage. Let it go. Let mama go. Let daddy go. Let sister and cousin go. Hallelujah. At a certain age, you got to let your children go. Hallelujah. Amen. Because they grown. They're going to do what they want to do. Hallelujah. And you, you're my friend, Bishop Paulus, used to say, hallelujah. Amen. You, you messing with Kenny and praying over Kenny and crying up late at night, wondering what Kenny doing. Kenny running and gunning and doing everything he think he should do. Hallelujah. Amen. You died to be and worried about Kenny. Get all sin and, and all kinds of stuff. Amen. Worrying about Kenny and you die and Kenny get your money and keep running and gunning. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you got to pray and train up a child in the way that it should go. And at a certain age, hallelujah, they, it's, it's on them. Amen. Whether they choose Christ and live and reject him and die. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not is condemned already. You did your job. I tell parents that all the time. You did your job. Hallelujah. It's time for them to step up. Amen. And believe for themselves. They have to believe for themselves. I, Paul said, I think myself happy that I can speak for myself. Amen. Hallelujah. That I can do this thing myself. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There's no temptation that has come upon you. That's not common to all believers that everybody here on this earth go through. Amen. But God is faithful. Amen. And will not suffer. Amen. Too much to come upon you. Amen. Hallelujah. So, but with those things that come upon you, amen, he prepares a way of deliverance. Amen. That you may be able to carry some things will never, I'm, I'm just going to tell you the truth. Some things you're going to carry with you till you leave here. Amen. Hallelujah. He didn't promise to take everything away. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Amen. And so uh, we, we, we need to know and understand some things we do in the flesh. We have to pay for. Amen. In the flesh. Amen. It's going to come due. Hallelujah. You got to pay for that thing. Amen. It might take you out of here, but the, but the soul be went. He'll, he'll, he'll destroy the body to save the soul. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, we don't know which one. It's, a, it's God. He's sovereign. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so we pray. We talk to God. Amen. And some things we we have responsibilities. Amen. We have children. Amen. We 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 stood in front of that church and told everybody I would love that person till the day I die. Amen. Hallelujah. That's your you took on that responsibility. Amen. And now that you having a little amen adversity, hallelujah. I find out y'all y'all have some differences. Amen. Y'all never lived together. Hallelujah. But you lived together a long time, but it's different when that paper sign. Amen. Hallelujah. And things change. They change. Amen. Hallelujah. And so some 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 things we have to carry with us. Amen. Hallelujah. But if you give it over to the Lord, it's no longer a burden. You're not carrying it. Amen. He's sharing it with it. He's sharing it with you. Amen. Hallelujah. He's carrying that heavy load that you can't carry. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Get rid of all those things. Amen. Lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily beset you that you may run with patience the race that is set before you. There's a charge to keep we have. There's a God to glorify. There's a place in him that he wants all of us to be. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we must put those things. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't put anything in, in between you and God and the call of God and the work of God. The thing that he has called for you to do. Amen. Hallelujah. Put it all in God's hands and run your race. Amen. That God has given to you. Amen. There's nothing too hard for God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nothing too hard for God. Amen. Power belongs to God. Hallelujah. You got to let it go. Hallelujah. You got to let it go. Really. You really have to let it go. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I thank God for my relationship with my sisters. Amen. I thank God for my relationship with my mom. Amen. And my father. Amen. Before he passed. Amen. But coming up, Jesus, Lord, help us. Coming up, Lord, we had some problems. Amen. We had some issues. Hallelujah. I did because, I, you know, you, you saw it from a selfish perspective. But when I get older, then I see my, what my, how my sisters, amen, what they was thinking. I didn't know. Hallelujah. I didn't know. They hate. <laughs> but, but, but I didn't know till we got older and started talking instead of yelling and screaming and, and competing and, and all that kind of stuff. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, then, I, then we realized then that we had common um, pain and understanding of things. Amen. And I had to let go of my image of what a father should be. Amen. And because it, it wasn't fair to my father. Amen. And when I let go of my image of what he should be, amen, then I realized that he was a pretty good dude. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wasn't perfect because I wasn't perfect. When I let go of the image that I thought my mother should be, and I unfairly compared her with the, some church mothers and, and, and them kids were going through, they would probably wish they, my mother was their mother because they would come over our house and they didn't want to go home. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. They, some didn't want to come there, but some, when they got there, they didn't want to go home. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, um, and so, so a lot of people saw good things in her, but I had to let go of my preconceived idea as to what she should be. And when I did that, I realized that she's a pretty good woman of God. Amen. Hallelujah. She's a good, she's a good, she's a good person. Amen. With a lot of things that happened to her. Amen. When she started telling me her story. Amen. Hallelujah. Then, then, then I, I got some understanding of why uh, she responded in the way that she responded because of what some of the things she went through. And that was still going through at that time. Amen. And so once I let go of that, our relationship drastically, and especially when I became a pastor, God called me to ministry. Amen. And so we have to let go. I, I was holding some baggage that really I was holding that I created. I made the bag. Amen. Jesus help us. Some of that stuff we made ourselves. Lord, free me from the devil. It wasn't the devil. You made that thing. Amen. Our own imagination. That's why I says casting down every imagination, every evil thing, exalt stuff against the, 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 the will of God. And so we create some of those things. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We create those things and then we say, God, please deliver. He's so good that he do deliver us. Amen. Because he don't want anything hindering us from doing his will. 
Amen. Hallelujah. And so I value my mother's relationship. I value my sister's relationships now. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But there was a time, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And they probably could tell you the same thing because, you know, I had my moments. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so, and so, amen. And, and so we thank God that we can be free in God. Amen. Yes. Free in him. We can have freedom in Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. God can do the impossible. Yes. Yes. I, one of them, one of them, I guess came over the house and didn't want to go home. Amen. We had a lot of them that came over that did not want to go home. Amen. Hallelujah. But we'll thank God for amen. Deliverance. Oh my God. Just think about amen. Being free and having the freedom of God. And so that's just a trick of the devil. We have, we have the Holy Ghost. We have ultimate power and authority over the enemy, over the devil and anything from him, anything from hell itself. We have the authority over it. Isn't it just a trick of the devil? Amen. Okay. So I don't have power over you, but I can burden you. I can burden you with everything and have you worrying and wondering about all. And you got the best thing going. Isn't that something? Isn't that just demonic? Hallelujah. Isn't that demonic itself? For we have the best thing going. We got the power of God. We got the word of God. We got the will of God on our side. But yet we're, we're accepting all this baggage and all these things. Amen. Put upon us by ourselves and others. Hallelujah. I'm just coming to share with you today. Just, just unload. Amen. Hallelujah. Unload the baggage today. Hallelujah. Amen. You're taking a long journey. You're taking everything. I might need this. I might need that. What well, it might be warm. So I take some, uh, some warm clothes. I, I, I might be cold. So I take some cold clothes. I don't know what the temperature going to be like. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It might be rainy. So let me get some, some totes and some uh, umbrellas and, and some things just in case it rain. It might this and might that and might. And so we, we carry stuff because of all the possibilities. Hallelujah. Hey, God, thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, God, thank you. I thank you for this, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We carry everything. Hallelujah. 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 Because of the possibilities. Hallelujah. When we have the, 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 the impossible God. Hallelujah. There's nothing impossible with God. Hallelujah. So if we if we just throw away everything and give it into the hands of the impossible hallelujah there's, there's nothing too hard for god and we just lay it at his and his, his impossible feet all things are possible hallelujah and stop carrying around all these things and give everything to him hallelujah who is able to keep you hallelujah from falling and present you faultless hallelujah thank you jesus you don't need the things what you need is him hallelujah Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything. Hallelujah. Thank you. We, us carrying things is our lack of faith in God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, you might not make a way here. So let me carry this. Hallelujah. So that if it happened, I have protection from it. But what's your greatest protection in God? Hallelujah. They don't make an umbrella greater than the covering of God. They don't make a pair of boots warmer. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Man can't make anything compared to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah for carrying even you. He carried your stuff, carry you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And we thank God for being our covering. We thank God for being our burden bearer and heavy load sharer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Cast all your cares on him. Amen. Lay it at his feet. Stop carrying all this, all these things. Amen. And everybody else's things. Hallelujah. Mama things, cousin things. Hallelujah. Thank and give it all over to the Lord. I gave it over to the Lord and he worked it out. While I was trying to figure it out, he already worked it out. God bless you, family. Hallelujah. Baggage. We talked about baggage today. And a prayer that I pray that somebody left that baggage hallelujah at the beginning of this broadcast i pray that something that you had and been carrying for years hallelujah amen anger guilt regret 
Hallelujah. I'm, I pray that something you've been carrying for years. Hallelujah. God has released it today. Hallelujah. You have released that thing and let that go. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You should have did this. They should have did this. My mother should have did this. My sister, they shouldn't have did this. Whatever they did or shouldn't have done. Hallelujah. Or should have done. Hallelujah. Give it all over to the Lord. Put your trust in Jesus and everything will be all right. He will make thy pathways easy and thy burdens. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We'll be light. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Put in your prayer request, whatever it is today. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Whatever that baggage is today. Hallelujah. You got to let it go. Hallelujah. If it's for you, it's going to be for you. Amen. It'll be there for you. Hallelujah. But you had to put your trust in God and let go of all those things. Hallelujah. We've been holding on to let them all go. Let them all go. Let go and let God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We glorify your holy name. We thank God that we can let go of everything that keeps us from you. That everything that keeps us from being me, amen, being the person, the, the person of God, you call for us to be in these last and evil days. And, and when the enemy come in like a flood and he brings worry and brings strife and regret and, and, and guilt and all the things that we carry around, walking around in, in the darkness of our enemy, instead of walking in the light of your word and, and walking in your wheel and walking free, unencumbered. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Shackled by a heavy burden beneath a load of guilt and shame. Uh, then the hands of Jesus touches us and, and we're no longer the same. We're free. Lord God, help us, Lord God, to walk in our freedom. Stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ have set us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. God, help us to be free as your children. Hallelujah. And throw away all those things that are not like you. If we're not using it, it don't need to be there. If it's a hindrance in our walk with you, God, remove it. Hallelujah. That we may walk free in you, God. Hallelujah. And live up to our Christian, our divine potential as believers in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. There's a race to run. There's a, there's a charge to keep, a God to glorify. You have a level in you that you want us to get to, but we keep holding on to people and things that are hindering us that are keeping us hallelujah from you god and god help us to let go and let you have your way in our lives heal touch and deliver make a way out of no way open doors to seem closed in our lives open up the window of heaven pour out a blessing we don't have room enough to receive give give us everything that we need for life and righteousness and godliness lord god in truth lord god give us everything that we need as your children feed us till we want no more our bread of heaven feed us till we want no more hallelujah give us what we need for life Hallelujah. These and all blessings we ask in Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And amen. God bless you, family. Love you in Jesus' name. Keep us in prayer as we continually pray for you, you and you. Keep all the saints of God. Y'all see the request. Amen. You see what people are going through. Keep Sister Washington before the Lord. We speak in deliverance. Amen. In her behalf, in your behalf, whatever you're going through and what you're standing in need of right now. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We speak deliverance right now, but you got to let it go. Sometimes God has delivered us from stuff we still holding on to. Hallelujah. Let it go. Hallelujah. And watch God move in your behalf. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you in Jesus name. I'll close in scripture. First Timothy, first chapter, 17 verse. Now to the king, eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God be honor and glory forever and ever. Let the church say, Amen. Hug somebody. Tell them that you love them. This is the Agape Way. God bless you, family. Love you in Jesus' name. And I'll see you guys next time. God bless you. Agape Worldwide Ministries and Pastor Renzo James Fields invite you to come worship with us in Springfield, Virginia. We're located 7240 FNG Boudinot Drive in Springfield, Virginia. Call 703-372-1174. Agape Worldwide Ministries. Real love, real people, real church.